friends. Welcome back to Paul's Kitchen. My name is Paul. This is my kitchen. And today we are going to make a vinaigrette salad dressing. Okay? This is our little victory of today. Now understand something first of all that I don't know if I made clear enough in the last video but I'd like to put a little bit of uh, you know, shine on it. And it's this. This is a general rule that I want, we, I want us to keep in mind as we move forward with this whole process of, of little victories. So the idea is this. It doesn't matter if your food doesn't taste good. <laughs> this is, you're not going to hear other cooks on YouTube saying this. Just me. I'm the only guy saying, if your food doesn't taste good, it's okay. Because here's the deal, is that I think that one of the reasons that people have such a hard time cooking and creating food in the kitchen is because they're so afraid of it not tasting good or not tasting like it tastes in a restaurant or not tasting like it does in the recipe or whatever. So it's really, it's, Think of this more as a process. This is a process. This is, this is the joy of the creation. And then whether it comes out in this perfect way or not, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Just have fun, go a little crazy. And if you mess up, number one, you can do better next time. It's a learning experience. Number two, the food is still going to be good. In other words, if you start with whole foods, good quality ingredients, then your body will be happy with you. So just remember, enjoy the process and then enjoy the eating, even if it doesn't taste great, but it probably will taste pretty good. So today, Little victory, vinaigrette, just like last time, hummus, right? What's the main idea of hummus? Garbanzo beans or chickpeas and tahini, right? Tahini, those two things, put them together, you got yourself hummus basically, right? And then you can add other things like garlic and oil and salt and pepper, whatever, whatever you want, lemon juice, make it like, Bump it up, make it your own. I made the curry last time, right? So this time, the basic idea is vinegar and oil. Two things. You do not have to buy a store-bought, factory-created salad dressing. It's expensive. They use crappy oils. Even the good, quote-unquote, good ones, the oils are not the best. There's oftentimes sugar, preservatives, all kinds of crap in it. And if, they, if there is like, if it is super organic and great ingredients, then it's super expensive. So, and it, literally this will take 30 seconds to make. Seriously, like it's nothing. All you need is vinegar and oil. Now we'll add a few other things just for fun. But again, the basic vinegar, oil. Now, you gotta know the ratio, or at least have an idea of the ratio. You want more oil than vinegar. Vinegar is very acidic and it cuts through. So you don't need as much. So we're just gonna, the, the kind of general ratio is three to one. So three parts oil, one part vinegar. And, you know, again, I'm not gonna use measuring cups, I'm not gonna use anything like that. We're just gonna put it together. You ready? Enough talking, Paul. Here we go. So, oil. This is just a basic extra virgin olive oil, unfiltered from Whole Foods. This whole thing is like six or seven bucks, I believe. Is it the best olive oil in the world? I'm sure no. But is it fine for our purpose? Absolutely. Okay. So, and here we go. Now, by the way, I'm going to use this little ball jar. This is kind of a meat. I got my ball jars laid out here. I just wanted you to see them. So I use them for everything. They're so useful. I got four sizes here. 
and um, I drink my water out of these, this one or this one, or my wine. Um, I make, uh, here I've got, this is um, my uh, red cabbage, from, uh, uh, you know, fermented cabbage, kind of like kimchi, sauerkraut, that sort of thing. Um, everything, I do so much in these things. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that. I'm going to use this size, which is kind of like the medium size. These are in the wide mouth, so they're super easy to clean and all that stuff. Okay, so here we go. Now, there's also handy dandy counters here, like uh, measuring things here. So if I wanted to use it, I could, but am I going to use it? No. I'm just going to guess. So there's the oil. Got about an inch, inch and a half of oil. Boom. And is that three to one? Maybe it's a little extra on the vinegar. I think we'll be okay. Now, that's it. That's all I need to do. I can just call this, put the top on it, shake her up, boom, and I got some beautiful vinaigrette oil. I don't need anything else, and it's going to taste great. Okay? Now, but just for fun, I'm going to add a little mustard, because we're going to do like a little honey mustard. So here we go, just add some mustard, throw some mustard in there, some Dijon mustard. You want to use yellow mustard, use yellow mustard, it doesn't matter. You want to use horseradish mustard, use horseradish mustard. And here's a little bit of uh, honey. And I'm just going to pour a little bit of honey in there. I just got this at the farmer's market at Logan Square the other day. It is Chicago. The Chicago Honey Co-op. Mm, so good. Chicago raised bees. A little salt, never heard anything. A little uh, cayenne pepper, how about that? I've got cayenne pepper here. Just a little bit, just, I'm actually out of black pepper, so I'm using cayenne pepper. Just how it goes. Shake it up. Shake it up. And we got ourselves some vinaigrette. salad dressing. Done. All right, now, Mia Park was the winner of the Victory Dance Celebration Dance Off. She's the one that has uh, given me the idea for the Victory Dance. Are you ready? So the Victory, Little Victory Dance, because I just had a little victory. Do you understand what just happened here? This is a little victory. I didn't spend all this money on dressing. It's a little victory. I made it myself, fresh ingredients. This, by the way, does it matter? Do you have to use apple cider vinegar? Of course not. Red wine vinegar. Use rice wine vinegar. Use balsamic vinegar. You call it, whatever you like. Use lemon juice, that's acidic. Okay, here we go. Little victory, and we're gonna go one, two, Three, bam, woo! Did you feel it? Feel it? Feel that? Okay, so that's what I got for you today. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you about next week. Peace, bye.